Oh yeah, on this episode we are going to be looking at the Mattel's creation Hover Pram from Mandalorian. Why, hello folks, Denobi2 here, and thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. We're going to be unboxing the Star Wars A Child Special Edition Hover Prem from Mattel Creations. This was uh, their Kickstarter uh, that went live October 2021. This is their version of the HasLab crowdfunding source, etc., etc. And uh, if you were uh, lucky enough uh, to participate, your hover prams would be coming in uh, within this week. I just got this yesterday, and this is something that I was really, really looking forward to. It, I want to say it's almost near 1-1 one, one scale to what is actually being shown uh, on The Mandalorian. The box is kind of boring, nothing uh, fancy there. Uh, it's very big. Mattel Creations logo on it, Star Wars logo on it, and then the frog. Here's something, uh, a little spoiler alert. They're show, you know, they, they show you the frog image. Uh, on the, the cardboard box and, and then on this box, but they don't even deliver a prop frog. So I'm not exactly sure what happened there. You do get an accessory with the pram, but it's not the frog, which is so weird. <laughs> uh, there is your um, insert there, the Mandalorian Grogu Collector's Edition plush with the hover pram. And just like the ultimate Batmobile, Mattel Creations is uh, providing a certificate of authenticity letting you know that this is a legit pretty swanky very cool just like the batmobile uh they are just delivering all of their uh crowdfunding stuff this year for me so it's kind of cool instructions on how to set up the hover pram it's pretty easy actually I, I it's not too complicated if anything it's just it's pretty big it's a it's a unique experience gotta say that heavily padded heavily foamed I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to keep the box or anything like that. I will have a little uh, plush Grogu there on display. You can see a little uh, octopus right there. And, and and I want to say you can... This version of Grogu, I think he's available retail-wise through Target. Not the pram, though. The pram is what sets the whole uh, experience apart. And underneath the layers of foam is the base because they do give you a couple options on the on how to actually display the hover pram you can display it at, at height level uh and then you could also display it uh, uh on top of a counter uh and both i want to say once in the height version uh, standing tall you'd probably be looking around 43 45 inches there's the acrylic base a little star wars logo on it it's a it's a sturdy platform base very it's thick plastic does not feel cheap at all. Uh, it's pretty. It's 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 very rigid, uh, and uh, I probably would have wanted a little bit more color to that, but it works. Now that I think about it, the whole idea of having the clear acrylic is to simulate the illusion that the pram is hovering. There's the adapter that you're going to be screwing underneath the pram, and they give you two links of the acrylic tube. I'm going to go with the longest tube because I I do want it. I do want the pram uh, to hover within waist, within waist high, which is around 44 inches or 43. Uh, it's pretty easy right there. Uh, screws right in. Pretty self-explanatory there. I do like it. I mean, it's it really does. Uh, it doesn't capture too much light. And then there's the adapter, which you uh, flip over the pram. You can see a little sticker on there. Uh, a little. Mattel's Grogu plush version comes in a little blister pack there and I don't remember if they had advertised the octopus or the frog now they give you a small blanket I yeah there you go. oh I, lo I love this sticker check the adult collector do not put a child in this pram can you imagine <laughs> well I mean I guess for liability reasons I can imagine cosplayers out there are if you're dressing up as the Mandalorian and you do have the pram, and you do happen to have a one-year-old child, it's going to be hard uh, uh, not be tempted to to put a child in here. It probably would make some for really cool photo opportunities. <laughs> uh, the pram overall is very uh, sturdy. Paint application is pretty decent. 
probably would have wanted a little bit more weathering uh, because Grogu and and Din Djarin do go on off on adventures. There's the on and off button on there and the battery panel. So there is a sound effect. Uh, there's no music. It's just a sound effect of the actual pram opens and closes. And there is like an IR sensor on, on the front of the pram that prevents it from snapping fingers. So this caught me off guard here. I, I did not... Uh, I didn't know it required so many batteries. This thing uh, eats up six AA batteries. That's a lot of power. <laughs> I just thought for some, I mean, look at that. That's, and I, I'm not even sure if keeping it on all the time or off or on if it drains energy. I'm assuming it does. So I'll, I'll play around with it. I'll, I'll try the feature on and I'll most likely keep it off because it, with these type of devices you're just not sure i'd hate to lose six batteries within a few months because i forgot to turn the actual unit off and it probably feeds on uh on a small trickle charge uh to keep it active and pretty simple right there i screwed the adapter underneath the bottom and it's looking good i really it's it's starting to come alive here And I did take measurements at this point, and it's about 43 inches from top to bottom, from the top of the pram all the way to the surface of the floor. It's 43 inches, so it is. Uh, it's it's pretty big. I mean, it does uh, it does take up uh, uh, volume. It does take up a lot of space. And I will say that uh, uh, it feels. I would say it's almost one-one scale, to be honest. God, that scared the shit out of me. That really, that first uh, trigger of the pram did, uh, <laughs> did scare the crap out of me. Oh, I just cool. thought that, I just wasn't sure what was going to happen. And then the whole sound effect. Took the uh, sticker off. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's not a push button, it's more of a touch sensor, and it depends on where you rub your finger on it. it uh, it's just how you are able to get it open. Uh, it works very well. Sound effect works. Again, it's not too complicated. It's not too much of a, it's more of a, of a cool prop. Again, I could imagine if you were a cosplayer, something like this would really bring your, uh, your look to the next level. And here is the octopus right there. Again, it would have made sense that if you're going to include the octopus, why not have the octopus in front of the box? But it's it's a nice little prop, right? Uh, he does he does eat them, doesn't he? In one episode, uh, when you visit the Mon Calamari homeworld. But uh, yeah, it's it's a missed opportunity that they they didn't include like a rubber frog, in the uh, in its true scale. Or I want to say the pram feels like it's one one scale, and this Grogu is just slightly smaller than the Hot Toys Grogu version. It doesn't make any sound. For some reason, too, I thought this would this would have been an animatronic Grogu, but it's not. This is just a plush, a Grogu plush. I kind of feel you could almost buy this separately at Target. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I know they add this onto the price because the whole total to... To back it, it was 400 bucks. It was 3.99. So, I, I don't know how much value the plush actually brings. I mean, it looks cute. It's it's adorable. It it works with the look. But uh, um, yeah, I, I again, who who else out there could deliver almost a true one one scale hover pram for a baby Grogu? There's really not a lot of people in this. This is something that I felt Hasbro would have capitalized on. It's a bit of a surprise, though, that Mattel Creations got on board and actually delivered a, a hover pram uh, with sound effects, mechanical features, and it's very close. Other than the, uh, um, I wish they would probably add a little bit more detail to the actual inside of the crib, 
You could maybe add some weather in, get some color. I'm gonna have to go look. I'm gonna have to revisit the show. It's been so long. The show's been off the air for years. Uh, just to uh, do some screenshot comparisons on it. But otherwise, I mean, it fits on there perfectly. And uh, look, uh, I my original plan was always to use my Hot Toys Grogu. And I have them on display here with a, a custom Itsy outfit uh, that was tailored for him. And with a little bit of a, of a wardrobe change, I'm going to have him in its original little garb. And I'm going to see if the Hot Toys Grogu actually works better in the brand. I don't think uh, I don't think the other Grogu would mind, right? I mean, it, it, this one to me is more accurate. I can't imagine him being pissed. <laughs> <We're the boss. laughs> Aren't we the poor cousin? <laughs> uh, I found uh, an extra burlap uh, fabric I had for a project, and uh, I'm going to try to uh, uh, squeeze the. So you could clearly put the Hot Toys Grogu inside the pram. There's going to be a little bit of finesse. Uh, you're going to have to change the ears out so that it can fit properly. But, I mean, otherwise, it, it to me, it, it works better. Uh, I, I can't say much for the other plush, but I think the Hot Toys Grogu helps, I mean, it helps seals the deal, right? I... <laughs> He's clearly pissed. <laughs> uh, no, I, I love this. This is cool. And then I added uh, a, a foam pillow underneath him just to prop him up, make it look like he's uh, peering over the edge. And uh, I love it. I, I think it uh, it works. It really uh, it really does work. A little bit of finesse. I mean, you can create all sorts of uh, looks with this. I know Sideshow made a Grogu, but it's a statue, though. You're not going to be able to uh, articulate him. I gotta say, the Hot Toys version probably fits the bill the best. So, um, <laughs> this little shit here is pissed. <laughs> uh, like, subscribe, leave your comments below. I am a digging my Mandalorian Hover Pram from Mattel Creations. This is a lot of fun. And uh, my Hot Toys Grogu finally has a, a set of wheels. <laughs> Thank you, folks. We're